Okay, so hi guys, so welcome back to my channel, Adiatu here, Naturally Ads on YouTube. So in today's video, I'm going to be planning for the week of um, June 15th to June 21st. So before I start, I just want to make a disclaimer. Um, the day I'm filming this intro is Thursday the 18th of June. So, um, I'm sure you may or may not know, I think that has happened with Erin Condren and the whole graduation, Black Lives Matter protest thing and stuff. So, I'm not one to bring politics or, you know, these sort of things to my channel, but I'm just going to say, um, as of right now, I'm not supporting the company, but I have only used half of this planner and I can't afford to get a new planner. So I am going to continue planning for the rest of the year in this planner and doing my plan with me is because I do enjoy doing them and it's a way for me to express, uh, like to share my memories. But I will just won't be mentioning the brand and taking them out of my tags and my titles. Also, um, for my next planner, I don't know what I'll be using. So if you have any planners or know of any planners like a5 wides that are good and stuff please let me know down below or if you know any black owned shops that have planners that are kind of similar um size or design and like have the vertical columns and are a5 wide size please also let me know because i am definitely interested because um it's just not okay but i'm not going to get too into that but i just wanted to make that disclaimer that i will still be using this planner because i paid for it and i can't afford to get a different planner at this time when i'm only halfway through it and i'll still be posting my plan with me but i just won't have anything to do with the brand i'll be removing all of the tags and eventually removing the titles from my previous videos as well and um taking down all the links and stuff but yeah so i'm going to get into the actual video now so this week I'll be using a kit from Sparrow Design Paper Co. And it's a Charmed Inspire kit. And I'm being very honest today. Um, I wouldn't order from the shop again solely because of like, it just took so long to get here. To not, not even to get here, it just took so long to actually be sent off for delivery. And that frustrated me. So just personally, I wouldn't order from them again from that reason. Nothing else was wrong. The stickers were great. It was just the delay kind of put me off. But yeah, I'm going to show you, flip through the quick, the quick, I can't speak, the kit quickly. And the reason I'm using the charm kit this week is because this is a week of Father's Day. And my dad doesn't live in um, the same country as I. So we don't really celebrate Father's Day anymore. But as when I was a child, um, we used to watch charm together. So I thought... As I was already doing like a pop culture TV show month, I thought I might as well use the, a show that I watched with him. So that kit, I noticed I didn't wouldn't have enough boxes, so I pulled out a load of extra boxes in the kind of colour scheme that I think would go, just to top it up, because I tend to have a lot in the week. So I'll be using rose gold foil with this, but also I'll be using silver bougie boxes because my rose colour day order, rose colour day's order has not come in yet for my rose gold bougie boxes. And because I don't want to do white space planning, I'm just going to use these anyways, but you can't really see the bougie boxes too, too much. So that's fine, but everything else will be rose gold foil. Um or black but yeah so I'm going to be using these from Paper Chic Plant and then these I might be using these icons who knows I'm going to try and use the icons up that I have and then these glitter headers from Lily Blossom Designs both of them are this is from a freebie from the girl Chloe and then this one is just the header overlays then I'll be using some day extenders that I made I believe that is everything I will be using for the base. So as usual, I'm going to lay down my base and have it sped up for you because it takes me quite a while. And then I will come back when it's time for the day today, which will be probably on Sunday that I will film that. So yeah, um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And remember to comment down below any planning suggestions you have for me. And I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day and week. And I will hope you and your family are all safe. But yeah, I'm going to 
get on with the video. Before I start, if you saw that June script, um, please just ignore it because it wasn't what I ordered and the shop sent me the wrong thing and it just looks ugly, but it is where it is, it's there, so please excuse it. Ignore the plane also. So first I used a quarter box, a rounded off quarter box from one of the leftovers and I used a GP Studio pay, Payday Girl to know it was Payday. Then I used a quarter box and a Fox and Cactus. Happy Mail Girl to note that I got Goldman and Coca and Amazon order. And then I used a thin appointment label and an Instagram um, foiled icon from Stella Bow Sticker Shop or whatever it's called um, to note that I did some Instagram promo. Then I used an emoji, I believe, watching, like binge watching or in bed to note that I watched A Different World. If you don't know, go or watch it it's a really good show then i used um this like long flag but i covered up the flag bit and i used a once in a million plan with me sticker from the spc six year bundle and a plan with me script from Stella bow i think it was from there i don't remember i'm gonna i'm gonna know where they're from next time it's new so it is probably from there or from Simply MS, one of the two shops. Then I used a quarter box and a camera sticker that was from a like a freebie sampler from another shop that I don't know to note that I filmed a haul. And then I used this thin appointment label, I believe it was from Palanicate, and from that foiled icon sheet I used a bow, 
to know that I did my mum's hair. Then I used um, this fancy label and a Luna from Fantasy Store Design. Been judging to know I watched Granish. Moving on to Tuesday, I used a quarter box and a Simply a Mess Girl Sleeping and an alarm clock over it to note that um, I woke up late and I kept snoozing my alarm. And I used this a thin appointment label and a money icon from the foil sheet to note that I had to pay custom charge. I think it was either Rose Color Days or Godman and Coco, one of them shops. Then I used this flag and then I used a Happy Mail sticker that was from one of my leftovers. Then I used this little thing from an old glam planner kit. And I used a munchkin in bed binge watching to note that I was binge watching YouTube. Then I used a rounded off quarter box and a side eye girl from Fox and Cactus to note that uh, I had those mistakes in my order which I was telling you about the script. Yeah, that was that order. I'll talk about it one in my next video. Then I used a um, thin appointment label type sticker and another Instagram play uh, Instagram sticker to note that I did more Instagram promo. And then I used this flat lay from Paper Shire of like a plan with me to note that I filmed. I filmed maybe a plan. I don't think I filmed a plan with me. I think I filmed the base. That's more like it like the base for this and i use a third box with a sticker from a freebie i don't know what shop it was from because a lot of people use this art um with a girl pulling out her hair to note that my internet was just being stupid it was just being so annoying so it made me literally want to pull out my hair then i used another thin appointment label and a camera for you with sticker to note that um uh, i was taking pictures and editing for my thumbnails for like my upcoming videos then I used another third box and an emoji with the edit, the edit emoji. And I used a plan with me script and a voiceover script. The voiceover script is from the same shop the kit is from, which I can't remember the name. Sparrow Design Co. Something like that. I'm sorry, I'm really bad today. Then I used a rounded off quarter box and a heart um, icon to note that um, Chloe and Hurley's music came out. What was it? It didn't come out. I was just listening to it. It came out last week, I believe. But I was just listening to it non-stop. Then I used a washi strip and a YouTube binge sticker from the Ginger Cat Coat. And there was a, a YouTube binge. Then I used a third box and a laptop girl from Panda Bear Design. And an edit script from Sparrow Design Co. To note that I was editing some videos. Moving on to Wednesday... So Wednesday, as usual, is the school day. So at the top, I use a quarter box and a Cookie Sticker Co. School Days girl to note that it was the school day. And I used a school script in rose gold, of course, by um, Simply a Mess. I don't know what is taking me so long. Yeah, finally caught up. And then I used this humongous sticker from Valia and Tuma. Sorry, my phone's vibrating. And a washi strip that I cut up from the um, bottom washi that I didn't use and um, it took me a while to kind of finesse it to make it fit because it was too long and then I needed to make sure I could put the sticker down and then write on it a little bit but basically it was to note that I was so so tired this whole week every morning basically I noted how tired I was it was just like a struggle to leave my bed and it was just it was a lot but I was really really tired and I, as I get once again I snooze my alarm into the last possible second as you watch me trying to maneuver that into the day extender at the top I used a fancy label and a paper shire nana in like a cup of tea to note that I had a large cup of tea very big cup of tea in the morning to wake me up a little bit then I used a quarter box and a emoji doing online schooling and an online class um script um from stella boo i think it's from stella boo sticker shop or whatever it's called you can tell that i'm a fan of that shop right now and then i used a might be a washi strip or not it could be a washi strip i'm not sure and i used a emoji um video chatting to note that i had a seminar i'm ahead of myself so let me slow down a little bit. There 
okay so what I just described was yeah it was a washer strip no it was a fancy label but I covered the fancy label bit down with a sticker so then after that I used a rounded off quarter box and a zoom emoji to note that I had another seminar then I used a might have been a third box or a half box but I cut it down and I made it smaller to fit and I used a GP studio um binge watch girl to note that I was binge watching YouTube videos but it wasn't playing with me so it was like reaction videos and Chloe and Hallie performing their like singles and from their new album so I was kind of in that kind of mood and then I used a thin appointment label with a phone icon to note that I was talking to my mother-in-law we were doing some wedding planning stuff then I used a quarter box and a and fox and cactus girl on the phone to note there was a groom gro groom Oh, God, weddings on my mind a group call that I had with my um cousins who are going to be my bridesmaids of course we're talking about wedding stuff for the traditional wedding then I had to cut off that phone call to have my observation so I used a um fancy label and a facetime um, munchkin to note that then I used another quarter box and a video group chat to note that me and my cousins, we then had a video chat instead after that to talk about what we were talking about before. And then at the bottom, I used a um, skinny appointment label and a silhouette sticker to note that um, I was printing out um, double box extenders and day extenders and all of that. And the silhouette sticker is from Stella Boco sticker co or something like that I've never known how to say the sticker's name then on to Thursday I'm really behind now at the top I used a flag I used an essential um, sticker from Fox and Cactus and a work script from Simply MS then I used a washi strip and a sleeping in bed girl from Valley and Tumor to note, to note that I needed sleep and I was just so tired then I used a thin label and a laptop uh, foil sticker to note that I was doing like labels for classroom at work then i used another little a little thing and a feeling crazy sticker i think it's a munchkin but it might be a moti one of them to note that i was having stressful conversations at work then i used a quarter box and a miss moscow on a laptop to note that i was making transition books for the kids who were transitioning into the next world they're all transitioning but for the kids that i work with that for their transition into their next year group basically then I used a quarter box and a Miss Moss girl with a mask to note that I did some shopping with a mask, of course. And then I used a rounded off quarter box and a freebie sticker with washi to note that I got a rose colour day's happy mail when I got home. Then I used a half box and a paper shy girl like sleeping on a couch to note that I was just so tired. I, wrote, I am mad tired. I was just so, so tired. Then I used a label with a fox and cactus girl shop to note that all the Erin Codgen stuff happened and I just wrote that that was in my feelings about that and then I used a quarter box and a munchkin um organized the stickers to know organize stickers and then lastly I used a fancy label and a camera um sticker to note that I filmed a haul so moving on to Friday so at the top I used a flag and I used a Miss Moss teacher sticker and a work script from Simply a Mess to note that I had work again. Then I used a third box and a stick with a Blanco. Oh, it was a half box that I cut down to make a third box. Then I used a stick with a Blanco girl, like with the alarm looking crazy into that once again. I just couldn't wake up. I was just so, so tired. Into the day extender. At the top, I used a half box and a Valiant Tomar girl with the camera to note I was recording one of my... um co-workers reading because we have to post ourselves reading for the kids then i used a squiggly court box and a munchkin eating to note that um i helped my workmate get lunch because i don't eat the school dinner but um the staff got free dinner so i got him some as well then i used a um like a washi sheet strip and a car from gp studios to note that i dropped my aunt to, to do some shopping then I used a fancy label and a um, paper shire girl with lots of paper to note that I was laminating loads of displays for the next academic year. Then I used a quarter box and a couple's sticker from paper shire and a with beige script from Stella Bow to note that um, I was with him when I went to see him. Then I used a little thing from Glam Planner and a munchkin 
binge watching with popcorn tonight that we're watching you guessed it supernatural then i used um i don't think i put this in the right order but then i used a little thing with a fox and cactus girl on the phone to note that i was talking to my mother-in-law again this happened before i went to his house but you know it's the same thing then i used this um separator from the kit and i used the burgers and fries sticker from ginger cat co to note that we had bims again and i was loving it but i used this thin appointment label and a paper clip sticker to note that i was taking my fiance's measurements because we needed to get our clothes made then i used a quarter box and a paper shower couple sleeping that i had to cut down to note that i fell asleep like we watched supernatural i fell asleep and then he had to wake me up i'm like mm, it's getting late you need to go home yeah but i fell asleep because work has been wearing me out these days i'm not used to working anymore so on to saturday i used a washi strip and a valiant to miguel in the bed under the covers tired to know i had a lazy morning but at least this day i didn't need to go anywhere so it was okay to be tired then i used a mm, what did i use because what's on the screen is not what's on my plan so i'm waiting um Okay, it was a washi strip. Sorry, that took so long. Oh, it's a flag. That was what it was a flag. I used a tea and cross one sticker from Paper Shire to note that I made breakfast. Then I used a little thing and another plan with me sticker from the Wanton in a Million to note that I was binging plan with me. Then I used a half box that I cut down to be a little bit smaller and a binge watch girl from Valley and Tumor to note that I was watching YouTube videos all day. Then I used a little thing and a one ton in a million sticker a bit with like stickers all around the steamy I think to note that I was pulling out stickers. Then I used a bit of that um, bottom washi that I cut down and a munchkin of a planner and a film script to note that I filmed this plan with me. I filmed it all the way to Saturday and then I filmed a Sunday on the, at the end of Sunday but yeah I filmed the majority of the plan with me so that's what that was no ink and then on to sunday um i used a i think it was like a little thing from an old kit and i used a um emoti not emoti a munchkin that was like up with the sun to note that i woke up early it was, it was very shocking the only day in the week that i actually woke up early and i had no reason to then i used this um fancy label and i used a paper shire girl taking out the rubbish which was from one of her PR girls freebies to note that I tidied up my room and then I used another one of those um, little things and a paper, uh, fox and catcher's girl with a planner to note that I finished filming the plan with me and then I used a uh, thin strip of what oh no a label and I used a house sticker from GP Studios to know I was doing some more um, house hunting online then I used a rounded off quarter box and a paper shire girl driving to note that I went to collect my nephew. Then I used a quarter box and a um, sugary girl shop girl with like an engagement ring to note that I got so I can note wedding planning to note that I was doing some more wedding planning. Then I used a rounded off um, quarter box and a family time sticker that had a house on it from... A freebie i don't know what shop it was from it wasn't a shop i knew i think i don't think anyways oh the quarter box that i used i had cut it to make it fit so it might be smaller than a quarter box then i used the paper shire um, mum and baby sticker hugging which i used for me and my nephew that i cut down to fit and i put it over the house so it said family time and have the sticker because we had some family time okay so um i apparently put the family time sticker down first but yes, so that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me. I know I was a bit um, tongue-tied in the voiceover and I clearly didn't know where loads of the things were for. But anyways, um, this is a wiggle. I wanted to show you guys all the foil that I used this week. I used lots of rose gold foil. I think this is the first time I used like fully, fully rose gold in a kit, which I was not mad at. So I'm showing you all the day extenders and this was all that was left from the kit so if you can see like a 
page of like leftover stickers i ended up taking all of the boxes from the kit and putting it on a page so that i could see what i had and i ended up liking it but anyways i will see you in the next one bye